Nori Nayar. My Twitter handle is at Nora Bean, N-O-R-A-B-E-A-N, and my Wikipedia name is Tech Historia, T-E-C-H-I-S-T-O-R-I-A. And today I'm going to do a wiki reading about Frederick Nietzsche. Frederick Willem Nietzsche, German. 15 October 1844 to 25th of August 1900 was a German philo philo philologist, philosopher, cultural critic, poet, and composer. He wrote several critical texts on religion, morality, contemporary culture, philosophy, and science, displaying a fondness for metaphor, irony, and aphorism. Nietzsche's key ideas include Apollonian. Dionysian dichotomy, perspectivism, the will to power, the death of God, the ubermensch, and eternal recurrence. One of the key tenets of his philosophy is the concept of life affirmation, which embraces the realities of the world in which we live over the idea of a world beyond. It further champions the creative powers of the individual to strive beyond social, cultural, and moral contexts. Nietzsche's radical questioning of the value and objectivity of truth has been the focus of extensive commentary and his influence remains substantial, particularly in the continu continental philosophical schools of existentialism, postmodernism, and post-structuralism. His ideas of individual overcoming and transcendence beyond structure and context have had a profound impact on late 20th and early 21st century thinkers who have used these concepts as points as de of departure in the development of their philosophies. Life. Youth, 1844-69. Born on 15th October 1844, Nietzsche grew up in a small town of Rocken near Leipzig in the Prussian, Pru Prussian province of Saxony. He was named after King Frederick William the fourth of Prussia, who turned 49 on the day of Nietzsche's birth. Nietzsche later dropped his middle name, Willem. Nietzsche's parents, Karl Ludwig Nietzsche, 1813-49, a Lutheran pastor and former teacher, and Franziska Uller, married in 1843, the year before their son's birth. They had two other children, a daughter, Elizabeth Forster Nietzsche, born in 1846, and second son, Ludwig Joseph, born in 1848. Nietzsche's father died from a brain ail ailment in 1849. Ludwig Joseph died the next year at age two. The family then moved to Nomburg, where they lived with Nietzsche's maternal grandmother and his father's two unmarried sisters. After the death of Nietzsche's grandmother in 1856, the family moved into their own house, now a museum in Nietzsche's study center. Nietzsche attended a boys' school and then later a private school, where he became friends with Gustav Krug, Rudolf Wagner and Willem Prinder, all of whom came from highly respected families. In 1854, he began to attend Dom Gymnasium in Nomburg, but since he showed particular talents in music and language, the internationally recognized Skulforta admitted him as a pupil. He transferred and studied from 1858 to 1864, becoming friends with Paul Dusen and Karl von Gerstorff, who he also found time to work on poems and musical compositions. At Skulpforta, Nietzsche received an important grounding in languages, Greek, Latin, Hebrew, and French, so as to be able to read important primary sources. He also experienced for the first time being from his family, being away from his family life in a small town, conservative environment. His end of semester exams in March 1864 showed a one in religion, a German and German, a two A in Greek and Latin, and two Bs in French history and physics and a lackluster in three in Hebrew and mathematics. While at Forta, Nietzsche had a pension of, for pursuing subjects that were considered unbecoming. He became acquainted with the work of the then almost unknown poet Frederick Hulderlin, calling him my favorite poet and composing an essay in which he said that the mad poet raised consciousness to the most sublime ideal ideality. The teacher who corrected the essay gave it a good mark, but commented that Nietzsche should concern himself in the future with healthier, more lucid, and more German writers. Additionally, he became acquainted with Ernst Ortlepp, an eccentric, blasphemous, and often drunken poet who was found dead in a ditch weeks after meeting the young Nietzsche, but who may have introduced Nietzsche to the music and writing of Richard Wagner. Perhaps under Ortlepp's influence, he and the student he and a student named Richter returned to school drunk and encountered a teacher resulting in Nietzsche's demotion from first in his class at the end of his status as a perfect. After graduation in 1864, Nietzsche com commenced studies in theology and classical 
Philology at the University of Bonn. For a short time, he and Dusen became members of the Wuschenschaft Franconia. After one semester and to the anger of his mother, he stopped his theological studies and lost his faith. As early as 1862 essay, Fate and History, Nietzsche had argued that historical research had discredited the central teachings of Christianity. But David Strauss's Life of Jesus also seems to have had a profound effect on the young man. In 1865, at the age of 20, Nietzsche wrote to his sister Elizabeth, who was deeply religious, a, later, a letter regarding her lo his loss of faith. This letter ended with the following sentence. Hence the ways of men part, if you wish to strive for peace of soul, and pleasure then believe, if you wish to be a devotee of truth, then inquire. And that's my mini reading of Nisha from uh, Wiki Readings.